Hey there YouTube, this is Evil Joy for Team Medium coming to you with something I just decided to do. Um, as many of you have heard, there is a FTK out right now. It's called Gishki FTK, I guess. Um, Gishki Duck Out. So, um, basically what it does is, for those of you who haven't actually heard of it, um, what it does is it uses Evagishi, Mine August, and a bunch of draw cards to deck out your opponent. Um, pretty simple. Um, and really actually not that hard to pull off. Um, you just, I mean, it's one of those decks that once you actually get it going, you're probably going to win. The other cool thing about the deck, um, some positives. One, it's, it's probably fairly consistent. I mean, no FDK is really ever truly consistent, but for the most part, it's consistent as in it can, because it runs so much draw, it has its consistency factor, I should say. Another cool thing about the deck is even if it doesn't get out off the FDK, it can still put big monsters on the board that can be very hard to get over. Things like Evagishki Solger and Evagishki Mine August. Um, they, in general these can be very difficult to get over and thus making it a tough deck to play against. Even if they don't get off the FDK. Okay, so a few things I'm going to talk about in this video is one, should you be scared about, if you're going to a tournament, should you be scared of this deck? Um, my answer for the time being is yes. Um, as history has shown, whenever there's an FDK out, for the first few months that it's popular, um, it sees a lot of play. Um, and, and then it may die out then afterward and who knows um, but for usually as soon as an FTK becomes popular for the first few months it sees a lot of play until it eventually dies out if it does um, and then if it doesn't then I'll get hit by this um, so yeah I'd say for the time being the deck just became popular despite being out for quite some time the deck just becomes has just become popular and so now might be a time to you're going to see it at regionals and stuff so now will be the time to side deck for it um so yeah now a few cards you can side deck there's in my opinion three main cards you can side deck um i guess there's fourth you can side curse of darkness because curse of darkness is actually pretty good um it may see play eventually in side decks, who knows. Um, but since most people run spell cards too, most people don't really want to run Curse of Darkness because it burns them as well. So, probably not the best option. Uh, another option is uh, Thunder King Ryo, but that's just like Curse of Darkness. And, and another one, sorry, I'm forgetting all these ones that you could possibly do is skill drain. But a lot of these options, unfortunately, um, you have to wait till you've got a turn. And that's the problem with FTKs is a lot of times they don't give you that turn. Um, so the, a lot of things that you got aside are things that you can activate straight from your hand. That's things that are going inside. So from that, I get the three main options. First one is the obvious one, Effect Vader. Now, a lot of people go, one Effect Vader stops this loop. And I'm here to tell you, Effect Vader doesn't do as much to this loop as you think it does. Um, few things that you're going to Effect Vader are... Um, Royal Magical Library, which, since they run enough draw cards, they don't act 
actually need Royal Magical Library, it's just a good thing to help keep it going. But for the most part, they don't actually need Royal Magical Library to keep going. So, I guess that's not right. <laughs> so, it doesn't really hurt there. Now, the other time that you're going to affect Vader is at the end where they're going with the mine Auguses. The thing about that is you affect Vader them putting cards back into the de deck. The thing about that though is they can still put the other mine August in their graveyard back into their hand, put the um, um, ritual spell Aquamir back into the deck, and then just like use the cards in their hand to grab the one aqua mirror that they just put into their deck back into their hand um, and then they'll just play that and put another mine August on board so I guess if you fade her like a couple times that's going to probably shut them down because they'll probably have by that point run out of options of drawing cards but just one Vader uh, might not do exactly what you want it to do. The second option is uh, DD Crow. Now the cool thing about this one is um, a lot of the times the rituals will see their point in the graveyard. In fact, all the time they're going to see their point in the graveyard if they're FDKing you. So if you get the DD Crow into your hand um, you can, when they try to bring back the Mind August from their graveyard, you can DD Crow the Mind August. And since most of the decks only run two, it's fairly easy to get rid of them both. Especially since, um, I'll go over the last part later. And the third one is, uh, Nekomana King. Um, this is just a really good one for stopping this deck, um, and it's the one I'm choosing to go with, it, what it, since the deck relies on stuff like hand destruction and card destruction, that gives you plenty of options, plenty of times to just send Nekomani King to the graveyard, and that just ends the turn. It's done, and then you get your own point. One, they've just given you a bunch of cards right to your hand. And two, now you can, so that gives you options right there. And two, you can now set a bunch of traps to stop it later on. So that's why I go with Nekomana King. I think it's personally the best option. Uh, another thing about Nekomana King is if you discard it late enough, um, or if you discard, just happen to discard it on their hand destruction that's going to put them down to zero cards and you discard it then, that's game. You just you just killed them because you're decking out them. So that's pretty cool right there. Um, so that's why I go with Nekomani King. Now the reason why all of these work um, is because you are guaranteed to get them to your hand. There's absolutely no way you're not going to draw them. Um, but that's also kind of the problem with Effect Vader, is you kind of have to wait for the right moment to play it. And by then, like, it could have gotten... They could have gotten card destruction out of your hand, um, and many things could have gone wrong. DD Crow's a little bit the same way, but it's a lot less. Like, you have to wait for the perfect moment. If they're card destructioning you, and they just have, like... Or, let's say they just went... Um, I don't know, something like hand destruction and put a mind August in the graveyard while they're deck thinning themselves, um, which the deck does, like, puts them out. The deck pretty much decks themselves out, but then survives long enough for them to deck you out. Um, so a lot of times mind August will see the graveyard, and so that's a point where you can, um, DD Crow them right away. You can DD Crow them. So DD Crow is a lot less situational than Effect Raider. That's why I think DD Crow is better than, um, than Effect Raider. DD Crow is better than Effect Raider, and why I think Nekomana King is better than all of them because it can just be used whenever they try to 
discard you, um, which happens all the time. The deck, again, the deck relies on hand destruction and card destruction. Um, that's the quickest way of decking you out. So yeah, that's why Necomana Kings, I think, the best option. But like I said, because they run a bunch of draw cards, you're going to see all of them. So whether you're doing the Effect Raider, the DD Crow, or the Necomana King, you're always going to see those cards. And that's the problem with the deck is that with the FDK deck is it gives the opponent their side deck cards automatically. And so that's my thoughts on the FTK. That's my thoughts on how you stop it. Um, why it's good. Um, I, and that you should, in fact, be afraid of this. Um, it may end up not being at a really good thing. It may be. It may be a really good deck. It may not be. But for the time being, since it just got popular like a couple weeks ago, if that maybe even just in the last week um that's just blown up huge so for the time being you have to be scared of it you have to expect it um and thus you have to side for it um so yeah that's my thoughts right now it's just after one so this will probably be up later like one in the morning like really early so I'm about to go to bed, I'm not going to upload this right now, um, so this will probably be up later today, and I hope you enjoyed, um, and let me know on your thoughts about the FTK. Um, so yeah, when the Harpy one comes out, if it if it's still viable when it comes out, I'll talk about that one too. Um, but for the time being, it's not out, so who cares. <laughs> so yeah, bye YouTube. Team EDM, and we're out. Forgot to mention that.